There are so many things out here wrong with so many people health-wise that it pays to be able to know what's healthy for your body and what's not. It's a bit important to me because I was a lot heavier at one time. Um, Vines allows me to have fresh vegetables every week for 20 weeks. I'm diabetic, so being able to roast or steam fresh vegetables is a great health benefit, um, plus it makes you feel better. As well as getting older in life, um, our business has slowed down and we found our income has diminished quite a lot. And on top of that, I got very sick. I had a deadly disease that they only just came out with a cure for as I lay dying in the hospital. My doctor said, you need to eat good food now. I went to my local pantry and they were helpful and they started a program for uh, people to receive vouchers for fresh fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. And when I went back to my doctor after having eaten this for a month or so, they were absolutely shocked at how great my recovery had been. Before doing vines, and for a long time, I was on track to becoming a diabetic. I have staved it off. If it wasn't for vines and getting the vegetables that I have, I would have probably already been in diabetes too. I eat better. I eat more fresh foods. I eat more variety of foods. There's no way that I could afford to buy 11 servings of fruits and vegetables a day without the vines program. It's just impossible when you're living on $6 a day for food. I come from a very dark place in life. Um, I had a rough childhood and then it stemmed into a rough marriage. I used to weigh almost 500 pounds a few years ago and um, I was at a really low point in my life. I would say from who I was before, uh, the food bank pretty much helped me um, through the nutrition class and the more I felt better about myself, the more I evolved. Um, I stand tall now. I know everything I say and do is not for nothing, that it could reach out to even just one person. I've helped somebody. Everybody is struggling in one form or another. You have a tendency to feel like it's only you. So meeting with like-minded people, being able to network and exchange ideas. Exactly. I'm getting an education and then in turn, I can educate the people that come in to pick up their veggies. So yeah, I've made a lot of friends here at Vines. I mean, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Thank you. See you next season, hopefully. Yes, you will. For me, it's a real sense of family and community. Before doing Vines, I became very a recluse in my home. Um, I wasn't leaving my house at all. And so going to Vines, I met people and I started talking to people. It took me into a world of looking at vegetables in a different way and finding new recipes and new ways of doing things. And that was really important. It's very interesting that food is um, so powerful in our lives and, and yet we know so little about it. I've been attending classes through uh, a local pantry, uh, it's called Just Say Yes to Fruits and Vegetables, and they teach us how to use food for health. But if it isn't ripe, you can just cut it like you would an apple, cut around the core. And because of my experiences, I learned and seen firsthand the difference that healthy food makes. A perfect food system to me would be where everything is affordable, and everyone can eat healthy. Because it's sad that a lot of seniors have to decide, do I pay my rent, do I buy my medicine, or do I eat? That's kind of scary. We need to fight poverty, not the poor. We need to look at poverty as a terrible thing in this country, and not the poor people being the terrible thing. You don't know who, who you're rejecting when you just put everybody in one boat. We're all in the same ocean, but we're not all in the same boat. If we do open your heart with compassion and you do listen, you will tend to find out that you relate a lot more than you don't relate. You have to look beyond 
the surface of people and look at their hearts. No one wants to go hungry. No one wants their children to go hungry. And in our country, no one should go hungry. I like to think that we're headed toward a food revolution where everyone will eat healthier, no matter what their economic status. And uh, that happens when we pay attention to what's going on. Recently, I went to Senator Akshar to push for Governor Cuomo's No Child Go Hungry policy. I believe that every child should have free nutritious breakfast. And that got passed. I was pretty proud of myself because a lot of parents do care what's going into their children's bodies. And I used to be a parent that didn't care. And it showed not only on myself, but in my children. And now that I care about myself, I have seen a wonderful change in my children. So I'm passing it not only on to strangers in my community and friends, but we're living it in my household too. So it's been a blessing.